Arcadia came out firing all cylinders. They served really well. They hit really well. Um, they probably made us play our worst uh, first set of the year. Everybody was hitting negative. They were blocking us. So my hats off to uh, Eli Poor's team. You know they really came ready to play, and uh, we were we were flat. And uh, so you know it was it was nice that uh, we switched some things up in the second set. Actually, um, Brent Whitehead suggested that we flip uh, our uh, rotation, and we we had a better matchup. Um, and uh, and it turned out, you know, that we won the second set. And also, I can just keep talking about it. Sandy uh, David, uh, Santangelo, Sandy came in and played opposite, gave Jason a blow, and also Nick Gross came in in that second set and gave uh, Mike uh, a blow just for them to just sit down and reset. And then they both, you know, they came back in and played well. And actually, Jared's been playing really well. I had doesn't have a lot of matches under his belt. Um, but uh, you know he puts up a nice ball, and KJ's uh, you know recovering from an injury, and uh, I'm I'm thinking uh, they'll both be available Saturday. So that's I'm I'm looking forward to the the match against EMU and Penn State Altoona um, in a couple days. You know that's huge. I mean we have to come out a lot better than we did tonight, and uh, you know that just keep our winning streak going and uh, that that will be a nice uh, you know better seed for us in the um, CBC playoffs if we take a uh, EMU well tonight's a perfect example the second set the seniors uh, Nick and uh, Sandy that I mentioned came in and with their senior experience they settled the team down and got us back uh, in a winning groove and uh, yeah, so I'm hoping everybody comes out 6 p.m. last home game Saturday against a nice team, uh, Penn State Altoona for senior night.